Welcome. In this video, we're going to do a how-to demo, and we're going to peel the onion back a bit on the online portal overview. And if you haven't watched the other uh, demo video of the iLynx online portal uh, user use case uh, video, I'd encourage you to check that out uh, before this video. This one's going to be kind of the next level down technically. It'd be good to have a frame of reference. But today we're going to dig a little bit into the iLynx online portal and what it does and how it does it. Um, and as you saw from the other video, it allows you to expose uh, eForms, iLynx capture workflows, and content store content up through a website. And um, it, then it allows you, of course, if you're using those components, to access any of the iLink suite capabilities, advanced capture, retention management, integrations with other line of business systems as well. So it's a great platform to uh, build your self-service capabilities on top of. Now today we're going to be showing the iLinks online portal using a product called WordPress. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but uh, one of the, the nice features about WordPress is it allows you to create a multi-site environment. So if I have multiple subsidiaries, I can cre they can create uh, sites with under my umbrella site, and each of those subsidiaries can have their own themes, their own look and feel. And the iLinks portal capabilities will pick up on those and represent those um, you know, for each of the different types of look and feels that the uh, the subsites have. So that's a, a nice capability. So what is WordPress? Well, it's an open source content management system, web content management system. Very powerful, easy to extend and customize, as you'll see in the demo. It was started not too long ago, but it has quickly grown to be the largest website management or blogging platform in the world with over 60 million websites and including uh, 20, over 27 percent of the top 10 million websites. Uh, as of just this year. The screenshot shows the configuration interface for the iLinks Online Portal plugin, which is one way that you can extend the WordPress environment. So in our case, we've created a plugin, and this allows you to configure connections to your backend systems. It also supports what WordPress calls shortcodes, and this allows you to invoke plugin functionality on any page in your WordPress site very easily without doing any type of programming. So we're going to walk through some examples of that. Um, and so you can see in this slide, we've got some examples of executing these short codes. The first one will execute and display the results from an iLynx capture view on any page. The next one, same thing for content store, executing a content store view and showing the results on a page. And then the last one allows you to uh, add a button that will open an e-form uh, so that uh, users can contribute into iLinks Capture Workflow. And there are other short codes, um, but those are the ones that we're going to be uh, talking about today. <laughs> Excuse me. So. Let's uh, flip over to our capture system, and uh, I want to show you a couple of things before we go into the WordPress site. So we've got this batch profile called uh, Portal Quote Uploads, um, and this was also featured in the other demo. Uh, and this is just a iLynx e-form created in our designer. There's nothing special about it, um, but it allows users to uh, supply chain users to submit quotes into the workflow. We also have a view called All Portal Quotes, and this is going to show me all of the, port, the, the quotes that are in the system. Now, just this is just to simplify the demo. Normally, we would create a view that would show only the logged in supplier's quotes, but in this case, uh, we're going to just keep it super simple uh, rather than having to uh, create a secured page within WordPress. We'll just create a public one, so it's, uh, it's very quick. So let's switch over to the WordPress administrative interface for my Acme Technologies demo. So if you recall from uh, the previous demo video, this is the website that we're going to be modifying. And we're going to, let me refresh this, we're going to create a new menu here on this, on the uh, front page. And we're, we're not going to, we're going to, it's going to be public, so we're not going to have to, to log in. So I'm just going to go in back into WordPress and I'm going to create a new page. And let's call this demo page. And I have over here on my clipboard already configured some short codes to uh, to do some things we're gonna we're gonna expose today through through our website. So the first one I'm I'm gonna put on this page um, an iLinks eForms button that when pressed is going to invoke this particular form which is our quote upload form and the button's going to be called upload quote yay. Uh, just so we can 
you make sure I'm not smoke and mirroring you. The next thing we're going to do to add to this particular page is, uh, is we're going to run a capture view. And specifically, we're going to run all portal quotes view. And I just simply type the name of that. And since this is a WordPress page, we can we can put other things on here. Uh, you know, WordPress has a lot of, of really nice uh, capabilities to create great looking pages. So you can you still have all that capability as well. So I'm going to publish this page. Um, so the page is there. It's live. Now we just need to expose it uh, through our main menu. So I'll flip over to the menu page. There's our demo page. I'm going to add it to this and it sticks it down here at the bottom. That's fine. I'm going to hit save. So let's go back over to our sample site. So it's going to show up right here when I refresh this. Demo page. Now when I click on this, it's going to render based on what we just configured with the short codes. So there's our upload quote yay button. I can click that. It's going to open the quote request form in a pop up. Uh, I could also embed it in a page if I if I would rather have uh, an embedded look. And uh, this is this is uh, the execution of that view uh, that we saw in iLinks Capture. And allows you to sort on these fields. Uh, and then we've got the little piece of content that we added. So this is just a standard WordPress page. Um, and then you saw that just by creating some very quick short codes, we can uh, enable a an eForms button that will launch an eForm. We can embed capture view results, content store view results. Um, and uh, there's some other things that the plugin allows you to do as well. Uh, things like uh, embedding a form directly into a page, uh, getting a list of available forms that are public, getting a list of available forms for the current logged in user. Uh, and so it's, hopefully you'll see it's very easy to expose some very powerful iLinks features up through your web, uh, your website, uh, in this case done in WordPress. Thank you.